Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to deploy Java web application in AWS. So before we need to prepare one Java web application. So let's open our GitHub page. We are going to download Spring Boot Capture Cage application. In this application, there is no database interaction. So we are not going to download. We will clone this application. Let's copy this link. See here is the option for git clone. Let's click on that. Click on OK. Application cloned successfully. Click on the close button. Let's import this into Spring Source. First, we will make sure that WAR file is working or not, because we are going to upload the WAR file. Click on Finish. Let's first run this application and see it's working or not. Server started. Let's open in the browser. Click on the third bookmark. See it's working. Let's add some employees. See saved successfully. That means it's working fine, but it's not necessary that war file also will work. Let's create war file using maven clean install command. See maven clean successfully. Now let's run maven install. See Maven install successfully. Let's check war file under the target folder. Oops, it's not the war, it's jar file. You know why? Let's open POM XML file. See here you can see packaging jar. Let's change it to war. That's it for this file. But along with that, we need one more file, then only war file will work properly. Let's open our one of the Spring Boot related repository. See this is the file which required servlet initializer. Let's open this file. Let's create a new class with the same name. Class created. Now let's copy complete code from that file. That's it. Now let's do maven clean install again. See you can see the war file created. But to run this we need Apache Tomcat. So let's download Apache Tomcat 8 from their website. Download a zip file. See downloaded successfully. Let's unzip this folder. We will copy and paste our war file under web apps folder. War file copied successfully. Now let's run the Tomcat using startup file which is under bin folder. Double click on the startup bat file. See it started. See the server started with no error. Let's open in browser. Like previously we use localhost 8080. Let's refresh the same and see it will work or not. See now opens Tomcat home page. So now we need to add our war file name at the end of this URL. Let's copy and paste it in URL.
see welcome page opens successfully, but what about other links like the list and save? So let's check those. See the list is giving 404, let's try to save something. See save also giving 404, let's fix those issues. Stop the server first. But before this, as you saw war file not is not looking good, so let's see how to change that. There is a property in pomxml and that need to add under build, and that property is the final name. And give some nice name, like capture cage. Now let's add required changes in JSP files, so open add and list page. If you observed previously we have nothing after localhost 8080, but when execute war file using tomcat then need to add application name also, so add the path wherever we are using the link. See as we used for link style sheet. That's it for our JSP page. Here I am knowingly removing slash after a path we will see what makes it the difference. That's it let's execute maven clean install command. Clean successfully. See now war file also changed, let's check. See the war file created, let's copy this and paste it to Tomcat web apps folder. First, delete everything from this folder. Let's start the Tomcat as we did earlier. Server started. Let's check it, it's working fine or not. Let's change the URL like new war file name. See it's working fine. List button is working fine. As I said I removed slash from this sad employee link. Let's click on that and see it's working or not. See it's working here but maybe in AWS it won't work. We will see. Let's add some user and see save is working fine or not. Add incorrect capture. See error message is coming. See save is working fine. Everything is working fine, let's upload this war file, let's stop the server. Let's search for Amazon console. Click on the first link. Under my account click on the AWS management console. Let's log into AWS account. It's free account. If you want to know how to create free account, add a comment in the video. Enter email address. Click on next. Enter the password. Log in successfully. Click on services. Click on the elastic beanstalk. So, this is the easiest way to deploy your war file. Click on create a new application. Give some application name and description. Click on create. Click on create one now. As you can see web server environment is auth selected. Click on select. Give some domain name. Add some description. Select platform as Tomcat. See here is the option to upload the WAR file. Click on upload. Select WAR file from Tomcat web apps folder. Click on upload. Uploading starts. 
uploaded successfully. For this time I am not clicking on configuring more options. Let's click on create an environment. Now this process will take some time up to 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see the URL click and open in new tab. It's not working now, because of war file deployment still in progress. Let's wait for some time. See as you can now health is okay. Let's click on the URL. See it's working. Let's check flow first, and one important add employee button is working or not because that was working in Tomcat. See here it's not working. Let's check to save is working or not. Let's enter the wrong capture. See save is working because showing an error message. So here is the next video topic one is added employee is not working another is when you enter the wrong capture it should not clear other details, and after those changes, we will see how to redeploy war file and how much time it will take to redeploy that we will see in next video. For this time let's center the right capture. See it's working fine. Add one more employee. See it's working. Let's open console again and see what are the thing we can see. Here are the recent events. But if you want to see all then click on show all. For example, if you got some exception then that you can check through the log. Click on the logs link. You can select from request logs like last 100 line or complete log. So if you select last 100 line then you can open in browser otherwise you have a download that file. See here is the log. So using that you can track if there is an exception. It's showing green means it running successfully without any error. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.